Cameron Pilly, age 31, from Yamba, Australia. Uh, my parents played, so when I was a baby, one, two years old, they'd take me down to the local squash club, basically put me on a squash court, and that was my babysitter until I was about 10. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they played. We lived quite close to the, to the squash club as well. Uh, and eventually when I turned about 10 or 11, my parents started managing the club and uh, we lived right next to the squash centre. So I grew up with the sport from a very young age. My first competitive opponent, don't know who it was, but I'm going to say I beat him. Um, there's, prob there's probably two when I first represented Australia in the, the World Men's Teams Championships. Um, going away with the Australian men's team, putting on the Australian jersey, for me that was a huge honour um, and that's something I always look forward to every two years. This year actually it's, it's been one of my highlights at the British Open a few months ago. Um, on the first round against Ong Beng Hee, I beat Mohamed El Shabagi in the second round. A come from behind victory that was and I almost beat Wilstrop in the quarterfinals. And, uh, but for me that tournament, you know, quarterfinals of the British Open, that's, that's one of my highlights of my career. Um, to be honest, personally, I really like playing at the, uh, the Swedish Open. It's a, it's a really good setup. It's quite a, an intimate atmosphere with the crowd. It's, you know, they're sitting quite close to the court and it's a really good court, really good crowd. Um, and it also helps when you have some nice results there as well. So um, I didn't exactly have one hero or idol that I looked up to. Um, I followed a lot of sports, uh, surfing, golf, cricket, hockey, you name it. Um, I, had, I had my favourite players in, in each sport that I, that I liked. Um, I sort of tended to like the guys with maybe the way they carried themselves on the court or the field, their style, the way they went about the game. Uh, not, not, not necessarily the best player. Um, I just really like watch, watching the, the top players, how they carry themselves on and off court. Um, but there's not one in particular, no. Phew. Uh, I'd probably say pizza and beers. <laughs> yeah, I'd go with a pepperoni pizza and a beer or maybe mum's roast dinner. That's always a winner. Um, I dare say I would have stuck with either cricket or golf. Um, looking back now, I, I, I'd probably say golf. I was, I was one stage I was playing more golf than squash. So I, I would have stuck with golf if it wasn't squash.